All right, so let's just settle into our meditation posture. So before we go through that, just uh, bring your mind to the same place your body is. And just know that however it is you're turning up this evening, it's all okay, all this afternoon for Anna. I think someone has their, okay, Shayla, if you could, yeah, turn yourself off, that'd be great. Thank you. I can hear a puppy in the background. So check your feet flat on the floor if you're sitting at a desk or if you're in the regular cross-legged position, you can perhaps put something in underneath your knees if your hips are tight. Sits bones are raised slightly shoulders align with the hips and you can have your hands just resting on your lap right hand left nestled in the left with the thumbs touching and if that's not super comfortable for you you can just rest your hands on your thighs or whatever works for you so align your shoulders with your hips and imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base of the spine all the way up through the crown of the head putting some space in between your vertebrae and just imagine you're lengthening your spine getting a little bit longer stretching all the muscles lengthening the muscles along the back now imagine you have a hinge at the top of the head sorry at the top of the neck and your head is just, rather than falling forward, this great big bowling ball of a head of ours, which is quite heavy, a number of pounds, just imagine that it very slightly tips forward. The chin is down, the eyes are down, looking along the length of the nose. Relax the jaw. And bring your awareness to the crown of the head and just relax your scalp and the forehead and the eyes, the nose, the cheeks and the jaw. Back of the head, back of the neck. Allow your shoulders and your shoulder blades to drop down and relax the throat and the chest and the belly and your limbs. And appendages, feet and your hands and fingers and toes. And then bring the mind to the breath and just notice the mind now. Just a, you know, a couple of minutes of just scanning the body can settle the mind quite nicely. And just notice if there are any sounds in your environment. And if there are, just try and allow those sounds to be there. So try not to go and investigate with your mind. And just keep bringing the mind back to the breath. And then just uh, maybe pay attention to some thoughts that are arising. And whatever it is that's going on, try not to judge or criticize or have opinions, positive or negative. And allow those thoughts to just flow without engaging so you're just taking a step back, like almost like a, a scientific observer. And just watch. So with Mingyur Rinpoche's analogy, you just imagine you're sitting on the bank of a river and you're just watching that river. And while you're sitting there, you're free from the river. Now, just a little, before we start our Vajra Supper practice, a little uh, equanimity. So bring to mind some people of your life. So perhaps some people that you love, your spouses and children or partners, boyfriends, girlfriends. Who are besties, colleagues. These, these are people that we have, you know, deep and functional and profound relationships with. Uh, you know, we love and care 
for each other. And then you have people in your life who are a little difficult. So think of them, bring them to mind. And maybe note the feelings that are arising towards them. And then there's those people in your life who are complete and utter strangers. And I always like to think of the folk on the freeway. I just tend to think of, I see a car but I don't notice who's inside. I don't really think about what kind of a day they might be having, what kind of problems they have, what their life is like, because I'm not really interested. But actually, the people that we love, the people that we wish weren't in our life, and those people who are complete strangers are all equal. And they're equal in their wish to be happy and their wish to be free from suffering. And everybody actually has this incredible capacity for an enlightened mind. So we think we'll do this practice this evening for all these people of our life and by extension all sentient beings. And I would like to include at this point the, all these people that died in this a uh, plane crash in Pokhara in Nepal on the weekend. So with this practice, we start with this idea that there is no negativity that cannot be purified. So there's nothing we've done that is so awful that we can't do something about it. So we start with this idea of regret. So we do this practice in the context of the four opponent powers. The first of these is regret. So sincerely regret, just start, regret, not guilt, regret from the depths of your heart. Anything you have done to harm any living being on this day or in this life and in all of our past lives. And think of specific actions of both your body and your speech. And then in general, regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. And we experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. And so having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. And we cannot bear the thought of the future suffering that we ourselves will experience. So logically, it makes sense that we want to pull out these karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart, having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering. And we can also regret all our delusions here, here, you know, our anger, our attachment, and the rest of the cause of why we harm others. And think again, I'm sick of this suffering. And then we think, okay, so whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. And the first of these is refuge. So we rely upon, we return to this Buddha, who we see as a doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify. So this is Buddha Vajrasattva. And we're not asking or needing Buddha Vajrasattva to forgive us. We're purifying ourselves by relying upon his methods, his medicine. So you can imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head, facing the same way as you. And you can also imagine that if you have a teacher, this is your teacher, manifesting in this form, this male, particularly in this male form, for your benefit. So he's made of this um, white light. So if, if visualization is difficult for you, you can just imagine this ball of light on the crown of your head in the form of the, in the mind of your teacher. And there's this radiant face, beautiful eyes are long, shaped like lotus petals and peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. And he has a sweet red mouth, his hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom, and the right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And there being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So we have another um, section on compassion in this section on reliance. So 
in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings. So the beings we've harmed and those who've harmed us. So we think for the people that we've harmed, develop a sense of compassion, like a wish for them to be free from suffering. And although a little bit more difficult, the people who have harmed us, because all of the suffering they've caused us is going to ripen for them as suffering in the future. So rather than having a sense of, oh, great, that's fantastic, because they hurt me, we just instead develop a sense of compassion. Because this idea of revenge, or this idea of wanting them to kind of get what they deserve, actually harms us. It doesn't make any difference to them whatsoever. But us having de developing compassion for them heals us. So it's kind of a, a better way to go, really, for us. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings and think, I must purify for their sake. So now we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the actual medicine doing this practice of purification. So we start by purifying the body. So Vajrasattva, imagine very compassionately, sends powerful white nectar. So almost like coming out of a hose. You can imagine maybe a fire hose very forcefully from his heart. And it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left, as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta meboa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maho samaya sattva a hum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida meboa sutokaya meboa supokaya meboa Anarakta meboa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maho samaya sata a hum pe vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dido meboa sutokaya meboa supokaya meboa Anarakta meboa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita tira meboa sutokaya meboa supokaya meboa Anarakta meboa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dhudu meboa sutokaya meboa supokaya meboa Anarakta meboa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe ambhaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita tira meboa sutokaya meboa supokaya meboa Anarakta meboa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So really be delighted that any harm you've done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified. And think there's no way you could do anything other than benefit others now with your body. So the next is the purification of the speech, and Vajrasattva now very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart, and it arcs around and quite forcefully enters your crown, and it fills your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech, and this overflows 
quite powerfully and disappears into space, not one atom left. So you can imagine that any gossip and harsh speech, like, you know, swearing and shouting at people and sort of all this kind of useless kind of nonsensical speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, all of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Om Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anaracta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sutam Shriam Kuru Hum Hahaha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajama Me Mutsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Om Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, dida me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, tiru me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, tiru me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine that it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others now with your speech. Mm-hmm. So you can imagine Every single syllable that falls out of your mouth is a benefit to someone. So you somehow someone has a, a problem or an argument with somebody else and they're talking to you about it, maybe only the most beneficial words fall out of your mouth. Just imagine how amazing it would be to have this kind of wisdom and compassion and kindness. So next is a purification of the mind. Vajrasattva very happily again sends powerful beams of light this time from his heart chakra and arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when you walk into a dark room, pitch black room, and then you flick on the light switch. That light instantly dispels the darkness. So we often we walk into a room and we think we're turning on the light, but actually we're dispelling darkness. So think of that next time you walk into a room and then remember this meditation. So imagine that the light is coming from Vajrasattva's heart and pours into you through your crown, filling you completely. And the moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra, imagine the darkness of the negativity of your mind. So any attachment and grasping and depression, unhealthy desire, anger and resentment and jealousy and bitterness and grudges, all of this instantly dispelled by this mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa 
and our act of Mibawa, Sawa City, Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa May, Sitam Shriam Kuru, Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bagoan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame, Mutsa Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya Satra Ah, Hum Pei, Um Vajra Sapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dida Mibawa, Sutokaya Mibawa, Supokaya Mibawa, Anarakta mebawa, sawa sidi, mimpi yatsa sawa, kama sita me, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bagoan, sawa tata gata vajra mame, mutsa vajra bawa, maha samaya sattva a hum pe, ambaja sapa samaya, manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, dida mebawa, sutokaya mebawa, supokaya mebawa, Anarakta mebawa, sawa sidi, mimpi yatsa sawa, kama sita me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame, Mutsa Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe, Ambaja Sapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dida Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawa Sidi, Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame, Mutsa Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe, Ambaja Sapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dida Mebawa, Sutrokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawa Sidi, Mimpi Yatsa Sawa, Kama Sitsa Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame, Mutsa Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya Satra A, Hum Pe, Ambaja Sapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dida Mebawa, Sutrokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta mebawa, sawa sidi, mimpi yatsa sawa, kama sitsa me, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame, mutsa vajra bawa, maha samaya satra a hum pei. So again, be delighted uh, that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering, all our own delusions, and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech are totally purified, gone. And think now there's no space in your heart for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is a purification of even the imprints of negativity of the body, speech, and mind. So you can imagine Vajrasattva sends light and nectar this time together, pouring into you, filling you completely and eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind. So we... Imagine this as we recite the mantra. Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Matsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa, sawa sidi, mimpi yatsa sawa, kama sitsa me, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame, mutsa vajra bawa, maha samaya satra a hum pe, vajra sapa samaya, manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, dida mebawa, sutokaya mebawa, supokaya mebawa, Anarakta mebawa, sawa sidi, mimpi yatsa sawa, kama sitsa me, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame, mutsa vajra bawa, maha samaya satra a hum pe, vajra sapa samaya, manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, dida mebawa, sutokaya mebawa, supokaya mebawa, Anarakta mebawa, sawa sidi, mimpi yatsa sawa, kama sitsa me, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame, mutsa vajra bawa, maha samaya satra a hum pe, vajra sapa samaya, manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, dida mebawa, sutokaya mebawa, supokaya mebawa, Anarakta mebawa, sawa sidi, mimpi yatsa sawa, kama sitsa me, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame, mutsa vajra bawa, maha samaya satra a hum pe, vajra sapa samaya, manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, dida mebawa, sutokaya mebawa, sipokaya mebawa, 
Anarakta me bawa sava sidi me piyata sava kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sava tata gata vajama me mutta vajabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajo sapa dino patita tida me bawa sutokaya me bawa supokaya me bawa Anarakta me bawa sava sidi me piyata sava kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sava tata gata vajama me mutta vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So again, feel you are completely purified. And just imagine there's not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed. So next is the power of resolve, and I think it kind of comes off the back of regret. So when you know when you say reg- you regret doing something, it kind of indicates or implies that you intend to do something about it. Or when you have kind of a little bit of remorse or something. So this is uh, it's sort of like we have to make a decision in order to change some of our habits. So if we have a habit to gossip, for example, or if we have a habit to just rabbit on about nothing and bore everybody else to tears, you know, we can kind of put a stop to that, but we have to make a decision to do that. So we just decide, okay, so overnight while I'm sleeping for eight hours, I won't talk about so-and-so. Or if that's too much or you forget, you can think, okay, so if we maybe you engage in negative self-talk perhaps. So you criticize yourself or something or call yourself stupid or that was dumb, something like that. So try and catch yourself doing that and then think that perhaps, well, I'm I'm not going to do this for, I'll catch myself and I'll refrain from doing it for 30 seconds. If that's all you can manage, that's all you can manage. So give yourself a doable timeline and make a vow to yourself to sort of refrain, start thinking about refraining from harming. So now imagine Bhattrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind, melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think, my guru's body, speech and mind and Bhattrasattva's body, speech and mind, and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. And next Rinpoche would recommend to meditate, excuse me, on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness there is no I, create of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, place your mind there for a little while. So we think of maybe all things, all phenomena as being empty. So they just don't exist from their own side. They're not independent entities. Entities, they're dependent on causes and conditions. So also think that perhaps the way things are appearing to me, the way I perceive things, the way I think about something, maybe my opinions, maybe they're just not correct. Maybe it's different from the way I'm actually seeing it. So now we dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created doing this purification to all living beings and think May the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen into my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. We do a few long life prayers here for His Holiness the Dalai Lama. The wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. Oh,突出江西江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江江
because you share a beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path. You are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Everyone, thank you so much. Lots of love, sweet dreams. And thank you for joining, for joining us. And um, I hope to see you again. So please welcome to come anytime. All right, everybody, sweet dreams. And you stay healthy, please, Hin. We want to keep seeing you coming back here. Okay, lots of love to you. All right, everybody, take care, sleep well, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, 